Good morning. Thank you. First of all, I want to welcome uh, Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood again to our city and thank you for his continued commitment of public service and thank uh, President Obama uh, for selecting him as Secretary of Transportation is really important. Of course, our working senator, Dick Durbin, who knows every part of Illinois, every uh, issue concerning all of us, and we deeply appreciate his commitment of providing jobs for Illinois and for the country. Uh, and to uh, uh, Lesser uh, Crown, to Dennis Cannon, to all those a number of years ago who came together uh, dealing with the issue of uh, uh, rebuilding O'Hare International Airport. I want to thank Pat Quinn for his continued commitment of providing jobs and the infrastructure, uh, both uh, highways and uh, all the other issues concerning uh, putting people back to work, which is really important here in Illinois. And we know the issue of unemployment and how high it is, unfortunately. But I think when everybody works together, unions, uh, business, uh, federal, state, local governments working together, we know we're going to come through this in a stronger way of putting people back to work. And this news conference deals with a commitment that we all made. We understood that O'Hare is the driving engine for local, our, our region, our, our state, and for the country, uh, International Airport. This has a huge effect upon the industry, has a huge effect upon jobs and contracts right here at International O'Hare Field. And I thank all those who worked so hard for many, many years on the modernization of O'Hare Field. And this is truly important because you have to see the future. Uh, you can't live in the past. And you'll continually have to modernize. Besides that, it puts people to work right away. Uh, the money that Ray LaHood's going to be giving to us very shortly is important of putting people to work. And people want to go back to work. Uh, uh, I don't care where you go uh, uh, here in Chicago, Illinois, in the country. People want to go back to work. And they want a decent job. And these are providing good union jobs uh, for many members who have been out of work for quite a bit of time. The construction of the three runway projects are important. New runways 9C27C, new runway uh, 10R28 uh, left, and the extension of runway 9 right and 27 left, which is really important. Uh, I want to again thank uh, uh, Senator Durbin for his commitment uh, uh, dealing with jobs right here. And of course, Ray LaHood, who understands how important infrastructure is uh, to our region and how a hair field is important to the Navy aviation industry nationally and internationally, how important this airport is to all of us. And, and most importantly, uh, uh, on-time flights going in and out and be able to expand in the future that we know it's going to be here. O'Hare and Midway provides about $45 billion in economic activity, about 540,000 jobs. And the OMP is the region's own economic stimulus program putting thousands and thousands of people to work directly and indirectly and helping businesses all over the region. The full build-out of OMP will create up to 195,000 jobs, $18 billion in the economy. It provides benefits uh, using no local or state taxpayer dollars to fund any portion of this program, and that is a strong commitment. So far, 12,000 construction jobs have been created, about 550 Design jobs have been created by OMP. We estimate another 13,000 jobs will be created by the runway projects that are being funded today. We have already completed three major infrastructure projects. The first runway since 1971, a new air traffic control tower and extension to O'Hare's busiest air runway. All three projects open on or ahead of schedule and nearly $40 million under budget. And that is a credit to Rosie Andalino, our wonderful staff here at OMP and uh, the Aviation Department working together. I firmly believe uh, uh, that when federal, state, and local governments and business and labor comes together, things are, can, be, uh, can be completed. And this is just a thank you to President Obama, uh, keeping his pledge about rebuilding America and putting people back to work. And I know it's, it's, it's his highest priority. He's doing everything possible to understand that people are going to go back to work. And every day, I think his team, his cabinet, is, taught, is working with business, working with labor, local and state governments to provide that opportunity. Thank you very much.